It's almost like watching a fire, the way that they move. And we took comfortably numb out because they kind of, uh, he kind of stopped interest and everything. But, um, I put Crazy Diamond in with, uh, with her. And he's really going to town. I mean, he just stopped. There he goes. You guys want to see how this works? You can see what an awesome looking snake he is. Um, I think he might be a little bit too young, but, um, I just want to try and keep the female stimulated, you know. So I keep switching up the two snakes. They each go in there for about a week at a time. And I thought we were going to be able to watch this, see this actually happen, but this could go on for a couple of hours before they actually uh, hook up. But you can see how he's working himself, you know, doing whatever he can to, you know, stimulate her and get her to accept him. And uh, maybe he'll be successful like, uh, like Numb was. Hopefully she's going to drop her eggs. And uh, between one of the two snakes, you know, hopefully we're, we'll end up getting, uh, you know, hopefully almost all the eggs fertilized anyway. I just thought it would be pretty cool for people to see, you know, like the actual, uh, you know, the actual courting process. And every now and then he'll, the males will uh, actually bring their head up by the female. And they're like, oh, I guess they're breathing on her or, or something. But he'll put his nose like real close and like arch his head over top of her, you know, like. Letting her know, like, yeah, I'm here. But you could see him, like, very rarely do you see snakes back up, but he just backed up. And you could see him wrapping himself all the way around her. And it's pretty, pretty cool to watch. This is the iPhone 5. Hopefully this is going to be 1080p. I put the uh, light on top of the tank on so that we can get some better video this time around. But I think it's pretty cool to watch the courting process and how this actually works. Comfortably numb worked a lot slower than him. But he's also older, you know, he's a lot bigger. And Every now and then, like before I noticed, I was watching him and his spurs are out big time. And he keeps on digging into her side. Um, when he does that, she moves. So I guess that's how he... You know, like pulls everything out and, you know, kind of lines everything up. Yeah, he's doing a pretty good job. And you can see the difference in the two snakes. I think it'd be really cool to get some babies from Crazy Diamond as well. Because he definitely does have the, uh, the albino het gene. But once again, I think he might be a little, a little too young, but we'll see. All right, yeah, we're back. This is really, really cool because he's like put his head like behind her, and every like every so often he freaking squeezes really hard. Let's see if we can get it. You'll see him. He'll, there he goes. That was one. He's going to do it again. You can see him now. He's got his tail wrapped around her. You see him? Contr you know, keep, he keeps on like constricting her. And now look at him. You know, he's got his tail wrapped under hers and everything. 
Well, you know, comfortably numb. There he is. He's in the in his tank. Looks like he's got got some competition over here, I guess. But we know you were getting it done, buddy. Don't worry, props. You just needed a little rest. So, but yeah, when I put him in the tank back in there, the first thing he did was went into the water dish and just soaked his whole body. And he stayed in there for like a couple hours. And now he's out and about. All right, back to the action here. It's just really cool to watch. It's almost like watching a fire, the way that they move.